The battle for gold at 130. Kaya Alp, one of the legends of the sport for Turkey. A national hero matched up against Jacoby Ajaya of Georgia. Both wrestlers trying to inflict their will and now a shoulder throw and two. Check that, four for Kaya Alp. Referee signaled two, the judge. They're gonna go two, so the referee signaled four, the judge with a two, it was confirmed by the mad chairman. I thought it was two on the call and that's where it will stand. And early offense from Kaya Alp. Now a shot catches the Georgia wrestler, a bit off balance, front headlock position. And a stalemate is cold, not wasting any time. Ajaya initiating the contact, again looking for that throw. Now Kaya Elb just tosses him aside. Good activity early on, 60 seconds in, and a 2-0 lead. Kaya Alp trying to grow his already enormous legend, his stature in the sport of Greco-Roman wrestling. Two-time Olympic medalist. He won a silver in 2016 in Rio, losing to the Cuban legend, Mihan Lopez, and then a bronze medal in London. No points awarded there. That'll be a slip back to the center. Halfway through period number one. Snap down by Hajaya. Kaya Alp, so tough to get off balance. Maintains, and now a point to Kaya Alp, and he'll have a chance to go part here. And you look at his three opponents so far, nobody has survived underneath part here from Kaya Alp. Will Hajaya be the first? We're about to find out. He has pinned and he has won by superiority from the top. Very deliberate, getting into his position. Ajaya waiting for that move. Kaya out slowly rising and the whistle blows. So Kaya Alp may be a little too methodical that time, and Hajaya dodges a bullet. And we get a whistle. Not sure what that was about. Maybe a warning to the uh, turkey corner. We go back to it. 3 nothing. Kaya Alp inside a minute to go first period. Hajaya still looking for his first attack, and now Kaya Alp took one in the nose. Maybe the eye. Yep, right below his eye, inadvertent shoulder or a piece of the body got him. I mean, this Georgia wrestler, he is built. I mean, he <laughs> looks like a power lifter when you look at Yakobi Hajaya. Kaya Alp stumbles a little bit. Got all of the momentum leaning forward. Not really a scoring position here for Hajaya. He'll give up on that position. Clock winding down, inside 10 seconds to go, opening period. Both wrestlers appear content to hold position, regroup, and get ready for a uh, climactic second period. When you look at Rizekaya Alp, his training really was never interrupted during the COVID-19 pandemic. And he talked about it with the uh, Turkish media. They follow him everywhere. He says, anything short of a gold medal in Tokyo will not be an achievement. And, you know, I went on to read a couple of his quotes. He, you know, he says, the media and the columnists sometimes comfort athletes by telling them that merely qualifying for the Olympic Games is enough. And he says, sometimes this causes athletes to relax a little bit, maybe lower their standards, their targets. They may put off working hard for gold, just satisfied with qualifying. And Kaya Alp has made it crystal, crystal clear. Anything short of a gold this summer 
he will, in his standards, not anybody else's, in his standards, a disappointment. He's been wrestling for 21 years. He wants to cap it off with a gold medal. A gold here in Warsaw would certainly buoy some momentum to Tokyo. 3-0, second period underway. And now it's Georgia with the passivity point. Hajaya to operate Partier. What strategy will he go with? Will he go gut? Will he try to get that reverse grip, which we've seen him do throughout the years? He's going to go standard. Up high around the chest with the body lock. Now switches down to that gut wrench. Chooses the right side. And nothing happening for Hajaya. Ajaya won a world bronze two years ago. He has won a European Games championship as well. The one passivity point, that has been it. Inside two minutes, period number two. <laughs> 2020 was a troubling year for Kaya Alp as he was in battle with the COVID-19 infection. He had to skip the Wrestling World Cup in which he had trained so vigorously for. Was hoping to win a fifth world title. He talked about the COVID-19 disease and his personal battle with it. It was a painful process. He was able to beat it. Got back training after a couple of weeks off the mats. And now in the European Championship, for the first time, he's involved in a match that's going to head down to the final minute, final second. After ending his first three via technical superiority and by fall. Hajaya, 45 seconds. What does the Georgian have up his sleeve against Kaya Alp? Riza Kaya out behind the turn early on back in the first period. And a little bit of history right now. Turkey and Kaya out number 10. The legend grows for these Turkey heavyweights in freestyle and Greco Roman. Riza Kaya out, a champion of the sport. European Championship. Oh, 